There is something that Trevor Noah said on his show during the time France won the World Cup with a whole lot of black players. He said that these black players are from Africa. So Africa has won the World Cup. The French ambassador to Americans sent him a message. It has been a norm of we Africans that whenever we see a black person somewhere, we just call that person an African. You can't just see a black person and start calling that person an African. You can't just hear an African name on somebody and you just call that person an African. Moreno also said something about Africans. I disagree with him totally. You want somebody to develop another person, then you go and take that person and bring that person to your national team so that your national team will improve. Who does that? FIFA should rather not allow those kind of players who had their development somewhere to transfer and come play for the country where they never had their development, even though their parents are from those countries. Wherever you have your development, that is where you have to belong to, that is where you have to play. Sin chao, sin chao, your boy Melo Day, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strive family and the Crooked Truth Court. If you are already a subscriber, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you. You are one of the amazing people in the whole world and I really appreciate you for the love and support that you give me on this channel. Like I always say, if you come here to watch videos over here, it means automatically you are sensible, you are smart, you are intelligent, you are open-minded, you are wise, you are reasonable. So even if you don't agree with what we put up here, you will leave a sensible comment without any insult or without any attack. We try as much as possible to be truthful without any insults, without any attacks. If you are right, we tell you that you are right. If you are wrong, same way we tell you that you are wrong. We don't pamper anybody here. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. There is a very interesting topic here in the court that we need to observe, analyze, then we bring our own judgments. This is between Moreno, who is a football coach, Trevor Noah, who is, you know, uh, a TV presenter or uh, a content creator or something like that, and former French ambassador to America. Yes, there is something that Trevor Noah said on his show during the time France won the World Cup with a whole lot of black players. He said that these black players are from Africa. So Africa has won the World Cup. Now, the French ambassador to America sent him a message and he read it on his show, which I thought that it's very interesting that we look into this because this has been an issue that I always want to talk about it. So I feel that this is the right time that I delve into it. We try to educate ourselves and also put our own opinion over there. Let's see this. I watched with great attention your July 17th show when you spoke of the victory of the French team at the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia final, which took place last Sunday. I heard your words about an African victory. <laughs> Nothing could be less true. <laughs> now, first of all, I think it could have been less. I could have said they were Scandinavian. That's, <laughs> that would have been less true. That would have been less true. He says, as many of the players have already stated themselves, their parents may have come from another country, but the great majority of them, all but two out of 23, were born in France. They were educated in France. They learned to play soccer in France. They are French citizens. They are proud of their country, France. The rich and various backgrounds of these players is a reflection of France's diversity. <laughs> France is indeed, now that line there was interesting, the rich and various backgrounds of these players is a reflection of France's diversity. Now, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I think it's more a reflection of France's colonialism. <laughs> Uh, because it's not like it's just like random play like they all have something in common 
like all of those players, if you trace their lineage, you're like, how did you guys become French? Like, how did your, how did your family start speaking French? Oh, okay, all right. And they say here, um, he says, uh, France is indeed a cosmopolitan country, but every citizen is part of the French identity, and together they belong to the nation of France. Unlike in the United States of America, France does not refer to its citizens based on their race, religion, or origin. To us, there is no hyphenated identity. Roots are an identi- uh, Roots are an individual reality. By calling them an African team, it seems you are denying their Frenchness. <laughs> this, even in jest, legitimizes the ideology which claims whiteness as the only definition of being French. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I know some or a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I'm only giving my thoughts because this has been worrying me for a very long time. Now, let me give an example. In Ghana, our national team, football national team, you see, there are players who had their development. Some of them were born outside of Ghana. Some in Britain, some in America, some in Australia, some in Netherlands, and those kind of things. They were giving birth to at that place, or some were giving birth to here in Ghana, but left here at a very tender age and went there. Now, this is it. How can you say that this France team, because they are black, their color is black, they are Africans? This is a question I'm asking. It has been a norm of we Africans that when, whenever we see a black person somewhere, we just call that person an African. Ghana. In Ghana, when we hear a name which is Ghanaian outside and the person is black or the person has a milky way color, we just call the person Ghanaian. I feel this is very, very wrong. Now, why am I saying this? I was born in Ghana. Now, I've been raised in Ghana, have my development in Ghana, my education in Ghana. I know the tradition of Ghana. I know the culture of Ghana. I can call myself a Ghanaian. Same way, if a white guy comes to Ghana, have the education here in Ghana, have the development here in Ghana, learn the culture of Ghana, gets to know the tradition of Ghana, forget about the color, forget about the name, that person is automatically Ghanaian because he has passed through all the necessary requirements to be a Ghanaian, all the tradition and the culture all the development, the person has had it here. And he or she must be called a Ghanaian. You see, where am I heading to? These French players who are black, if not all of them, most of them had their developments in France. They had their education in France, like the way the ambassador said, the tradition of France, that's what they know. The culture of France, that's what they know. They had all their football development and educational development in France. So what prevents them from being French? Why are people still calling them Africans? Why even when those players, let me take Paul Pogba as an example. If you send him to his native country where he was giving birth at or where his parents come from, if you take an animal, let's say a cat, and you ask for Pogba, what's the local name of that cat in the country where your parents come from? Paul Pogba wouldn't be able to mention that name. This is just a scenario. You would take something special which every native person knows the local name, but you will ask these players or these boys or these people, to mention it, they wouldn't know. It shows automatically that their development is made in French. They had their development there. They know the culture of French. They know the tradition of French. This is what we are talking about. So you can't just see a black person and start calling that person an African. You can't just hear an African name on somebody and you just call that person an African. This, this isn't how it should be done. I always say that Ghana Black Stars, they shouldn't be calling players who had their development out there. They must focus on the players who always 
have their development here in Ghana, know the tradition, know the culture, and everything that will help our national team. These are the real Ghanaians. Wherever you had your wherever you had your development at, your education at, know the tradition of that place, know the culture of that place. That is where you belong, no matter the skin of the color. Like I said, people will disagree with me, but this is what I believe in. This is what I think. And I support this France ambassador to America, the, the former ambassador to America. Now, Moreno also said something about Africans. He said that FIFA should bring a rule that would make all Africans that, plays, that play for other countries to come play for Africa. They shouldn't be able to play for those countries. Now, I disagree with him totally. Let's read what he said, then I will say something. This is what Moreno said. I want the world to realize that Africa is equal to everyone. They have the ability to win any game only because most of their players are scattered all over the world, playing for other countries beyond their homelands. I know I won't be popular for making this statement, but FIFA should make things fair by refusing to let players represent other countries. This will make FIFA tournaments even more competitive, not one-sided. I said I disagree with him totally. Now, you want somebody to develop another person. Then you will go and take that person and bring that person to your national team so that your national team will improve. Who does that? How can I take someone's son, take care of the son, and then later that person will come that give me back my son. That I gave birth to that son. That rather is not fair. It's very, very, very unfair. So I always say that FIFA should rather not allow those kind of players who had their development somewhere to transfer and come play for the country where they never had their development, even though their parents are from those countries. If I'm not making sense, just let me know which one is unfair. You having your development somewhere, then you leave that place and come play for your homeland. Or me having my development and FIFA is stopping me to come play for my homeland because my homeland didn't help me in any way. But that country that gave me the development deserves me to play for them. Which one makes sense? So I always say that FIFA restricts players who transfer their nationality to come and play for other countries where they did not have their development at. They only do that because most of the time they feel that the country that they had their development at, they wouldn't get the chance to play over there. They don't want to compete and play over there. So because they are mixed breed, we call them half caste. They give them priority. Yes, because they are half caste, oh, they, deserve, they have to come and people will be hailing them. Oh, because they had their development in France, in uh, England, in Italy. Yes, they are good players. They have to come and play for the national team. How about those who had their development here in Ghana? How about them? So FIFA must restrict those players. Wherever you have your, your development, that is where you have to belong to. That is where you have to play. Now let's come back to the main issue. Trevor Noah calling those black guys Africans. Yes, their skin color is African. Their family or their parents are from Africa. But trust me, these boys do not know the tradition of Africa. They do not know the culture of Africa. They do not, they didn't have the development from Africa. All they know is France, France, France. They relate so well in France more than in their respective parents' countries. So they are not Africans. They are rather French. This is what Trevor Noah should know. And anybody out there should know. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth and anything important. And today, we are striving for fairness. Where you belong, that is where you should be. 
This is what we are talking about. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. Like this video. Let it go viral. Share for someone to also watch and comment. Leave a comment. Let me know if what I'm saying is wrong. Leave your comment categorically. Let's see what you're also talking about. Then we all learn without any insults. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next video. Caught rise. No more. If you know make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said good love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you know make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said good love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me. Now